Hey, greetings. Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we have a Hi Zero F801. This is their newest model of their Bionic Mop. And Bionic Mop's a nice way of calling it an auto mop. This machine's often listed as a vacuum cleaner, but it is not. This is a mop. And they have some really cool technology built into this very slim package to make it work. And it, this is very different from some of the other auto mops like the Hoover Floor Mates and the, the Bissell Cross Wave and the Tyneco and some of those. Um, Hi Zero has really just done something completely different and it has changed the way that I clean my house. And that's saying a lot from somebody who has hundreds of vacuums. I've been looking for a product like this for a long time. So I'm gonna go through all the pros, all the cons. We're gonna go in the shop and take it apart. And when you leave this review, you're going to be able to have all the information you need to know before you buy this. And if you consider buying one of these, check out the link below. It benefits the channel. First thing I want to talk about is the size, weight, and shape of this thing. It's very sleek. It's very well designed. It's in that size where it's smaller than an upright. It's slightly larger than a stick vacuum. But because the weight's down low, you don't really feel it. And the shape of it also allows you to get into a lot of tight spaces. And the swivel neck is very good on this. Let's talk about maneuverability because High Zero really gets it right. This swivel neck is at the perfect angle. It's like using a canister wand on a high-end vacuum. It's very light. And then the machine, you kind of see it kind of pulls itself forward at its own pace. So if you go and you feel that pace, there's really close to no effort. And again, being able to just maneuver around something is so nice. The width is thin enough that it would work on stairs and the machine does clean in the upright position as well. As far as controls, it's really simple. There's two buttons. One's an on and off. One determines how much water it puts on. It either puts out more water or less water. Those are your only options. There's also a tank indicator and a battery indicator that turn red on here. I got about 40 to 45 minutes of battery life really consistently with this. So I was able to do my whole house several times over before I needed to charge it. So great battery life. Let's talk about setting up the machine and where the tanks are located and all the other things you need to know. How the High Zero works because it's very different than a vacuum cleaner. It's not a mop. It's not like really anything else that I've seen on the market. It shares some similarities, but not all. So I think the majority of the cleaning is actually done by this soft, cushy roller, which is really a sponge. So the idea is that this is going on your floor. It's soft, so if it picks anything up, um, it's gonna actually throw it into this tray. Um, so as you can see, it's picking it up and it's gonna throw it into that tray. And if some of it makes it past that tray, there is a roller that's whole job is to clean the other roller out, which is how this works. And again, this is very unique to a lot of things. A lot of things just have the one roller. This actually has a roller that's cleaning the roller. So that really makes the soft roller work very well. And I'll roll in some footage here, but you can see that it, it will pick up objects, big or small. It, it's really, really good. So it's using the mechanics of this thing to scrub your floor. And this thing's very soft. It's like a microfiber sponge porous thing. Um, it's got a very strange texture, unlike really anything I've really touched or I can name, but it's um, cleaning the floor. And that, that also makes this an expendable. As you use this, and I've been using it maybe about a month and a half in my house fairly regularly, um, and mine's still in good condition, but they say in six months you change it, and they're, they're very reasonably priced, so I'm not worried about doing that. So that maybe might explain to you how mechanically it's scrubbing. Now, not only is it collecting the big objects in that tray, but it's also recovering most of the fluid that it puts out. Uh, I would say the recovery rate's probably around 90 some percent. So really a high recovery rate, uh, much higher than any of the Hoover spin scrubs or any of the Bissell cross waves, anything like that. Um, I would say the recovery rate is on par with some of the big commercial push behind Zamboni machines I've ever seen. I'd say it's higher than that even. Uh, so it just has a small tank 
that dispenses water and solution, and then it comes in the recovery tank. Now, one criticism I would say is that this tank is good for about 500 square feet before it needs to be refilled. Uh, so if you have a bigger house like I do, and you wanna do the whole house, you'll be filling this tank up multiple times. But if you just wanna do like your kitchen and your dining room area, you probably can get away with just the one tank. Now, on the subject of tanks, the dirty water collection tank uh, has enough room in it that when it, you go through the solution tank, there's actually a bit of about this much of a buffer space in here. So if you are recovering liquid that was spilled on the floor, it will do that as well. And then this thing, um, it's kind of interesting. There's like a little filter uh, in here as well. So a little strange, a little bit I noticed on that. So very cool. And then of course there's a float valve right there. Now let's say you need to go and put this thing into action. There's a couple of steps you're gonna have to do. And again, I think it's worth it, but it is something that you, you do need to just learn how to do and it's, it's simple. So the first is, is there is this thing, which is some sort of filter. And I store mine with it off, but basically you put that in and they give you, somebody was really thinking, they give you plenty of extra ones there. I cleaned up a hairball, so I actually pulled the other roller out and rinsed it, but I haven't really been rinsing or doing much with this other roller. I do notice that there's a little bit of hair that gets stuck around here again. It comes off and on very easily. Let me just show you. That is just super easy. And I'll, let me show you on the side what we're doing. The, the motor that powers the roller actually is coming out like so and just clips in. Again, out. Put it on, very simple. Now, when it's time to put the lower roller in, this is the part, again, there's a little bit of a learning curve. So before you use it, you need to just plug your sink. And what I've been doing is just filling my sink and soaking the roller up that. Depends on how, how long it's been between uses, but you basically need to soak the roller like so. There we go. And then I like to just squeeze it out. Again, think of this roller as a giant sponge. It goes out in and out the same way and you cannot interchange the rollers I tried, but you can see that this rotates and pulls out of here. So this guy is gonna go on and he's gonna go out in there just like so. Very simple, and again. And the thought behind being able to bring these rollers in and out for maintenance is really, really good. Now, the last step to get this thing into action is you just put the tray back. This is the dry collection tray. And I would imagine that this rubber piece right here will eventually wear down as well. Though it's very thick um, and it's not just rubber, it's like a, a polyurethane or something, it's very strong. Um, and then you just clip that there. And then of course you'd fill the tanks. Now, among testing in this video, I've only been using the genuine high zero solution. I've used water a little bit, just plain water, but I've just been using the high zero solution. It seems to work very well and it has a very light, pleasant citrus scent. It's not overpowering. And it seems to finish off gassing within about an hour or two. So you're not gonna have any smell the next day or anything like that if you're sensitive to that. I think you'll really like this solution. And again, these tanks are just super easy to move in and out of this machine, so I like the maintenance. High Zero has a couple of different cleaning solutions out. Their newer one, which is the fresh orange scent, actually kills most germs and bacteria, so I highly recommend that you get this one over the one I previously showed in the video. This has some of the same base ingredients that they use in hospitals to disinfect, so again, I recommend picking this bottle up, and I'll put a link below there for you as well. Um, and the charger is just very basic. There's nothing special about the charger. You just plug it in right there. Everything is super simple with this. Welcome to the In the Shop section. Let's see what secrets the High Zero has to offer. Everything comes apart super easy over here. All right, well, that's a sign of quality 
we have a part that's been machined after it was cast. The spring, it's very stiff. So this is nice to see that little metal piece. And that interacts with a uh, nylon or glass reinforced piece right here. Now, here is some of the weirdo-ness of their genius. So we have basically two pumps of some sort. Uh, very strange here. So this guy right here is just a solenoid pump. And everything is capped and insulated. There's a QR code on here, which is nice. Actually, the motor down here has a QR code. So it looks like all the stuff is like easily replaced. Uh, and they have their website on there. So off the shelf pieces like that. So this is the recovery pump. This is the solution pump. Well, that's cool. We can see the recovery. After taking this thing apart, I really appreciate how simple everything is and easy to get to. This is a great example of genius meets keep it simple stupid. So I approve. From a technical point of view, the thing's damn near perfect. In a previous video, I had done a dry pickup test, which it did very well, though I would still recommend using a vacuum before whenever possible, unless it's like an emergency, like a hairball or something that you're picking up or a massive food spill. And it does do amazingly well on dry stuff, but I wanted to really test it on wet stuff. So the high zero is not just for everyday maintenance. It's also good if you spill stuff. So I've brought a variety of things down to try and spill and see where it goes because I'm I'm kind of curious about this. So first off, uh, a little bit of an ice latte. Let's start start the party off right with that. I think the ice latte did pretty good. Let's try whatever this is. My wife had that. Let's go to something heavier like the marinara sauce. Ah, uh, well that was amazing. Let's give it some hot sauce. Next up, laundry detergent. That was easy. Well, as you can see, it pretty much handles anything I could throw at it. One thing I did note, you do have to go with the grain, not against the grain, if that makes sense. So sometimes if something gets in the grout, you have to reposition the machine and go over the spot. It's very much designed for premium flooring surfaces that are level and close together. It's not designed for big gaps like Saltillo tile or some of the uneven flooring I've experienced in my lifetime. This really is a premium machine for a premium household. So again, if you have wood flooring, marble, tile, it does well. If you have really big grout, I wouldn't suggest it for that. But everything else is very good. The other thing that was really amazing about this is how dry it left the floor. The floor was almost dry to the touch after just one pass. And it would seem that within a minute it dried, at least here in Colorado, in our dry climate. Cleanup of the machine when you're done is a breeze. All you have to do is take the solid tank out, dump it out. I'd recommend doing that over a toilet or in a trash can, depending on where you're at. It does an excellent job at separating the solids from the liquid. Um, if you're doing something really messy, pull the uh, second brush roller out and clean it. I didn't find it was necessary most of the time. And then of course you want to dump and rinse the dirty water tank when you're done. Um, and the clean water tank again uh, is much smaller than the dirty water tank so you have some extra room if you do need to suck up liquid with the machine as well. They give you a very thoughtful stand that you can just set everything out to dry on. 
let's get into my final thoughts and who this product is really for. Well, this product's not for industrial messes. It's not for commercial use. It's for somebody who's looking to replace their mop or their bonus system with something easier in a high-end house. I really like this product. I think it is the best for doing flat surfaces like you see in our household. It's a joy to clean up, it's easy to use, and it's really lightweight so my wife can use it too. Full disclosure, Hi Zero did send this to me for review. However, no money exchanged hands. So again, thank you so much for watching. Consider a subscription and have yourself a nice day.